As we celebrate Black Heritage, we want you to meet professor, poet, and author Eve L. Ewan, tapped to write the next story in the Black Panther series. Her version of Wakanda won't hit store shelves until June, but as you're about to see, Eve gives us an exclusive first glimpse at Black Panther's new look. And yes, you saw it here first. Hi, I'm Eve Ewing. I'm an author, a professor, and I'm the next writer of the Black Panther comic book series. Coming soon, Marvel will release the next chapter in the Black Panther saga. And for the first time, a black woman writes the world of Wakanda. It's pretty much a really big deal. So I just, uh, I didn't think it's something that would ever happen to me, um, taking on really any Avenger, like a kind of big marquee character like this. The 36-year-old Chicago native always had a love of comic books. My mom bought me my first comic book when I was five years old. I was definitely the kid who got my comics taken away and confiscated by the teacher. And I never wanted to be that teacher. If you love something, if this is a story that makes you excited, it makes you want to read, go for it. Once a middle school grade teacher, Eve is now an associate professor at the University of Chicago, but that's just one of her many jobs. Her four book titles cross varying genres, with black girls often at the center of the story. I write poetry, I write nonfiction, I write fiction, I write comic books. At the fundamental level, all of these are really just different forms of storytelling. In 2018, Eve became the fifth black woman in the over eight decade history of the company to write for Marvel. Never in a million years did I think I'd be able to walk over to a rack and see something that has my name on it. Her comic book works include Photon with Monica Rambo, Marvel's Youngest Heroes and Champions Outlawed, and Ironheart with Riri Williams, a genius black superhero from Chicago. Representation matters. It matters to have the characters that represent all the different faces that we see in the world around us. And the first Black Panther, written by a black woman, hits shelves this June. It doesn't make me super proud to be the first black woman to do anything in the 21st century, right? It doesn't mean that you were the first person worthy of that responsibility. It means you were the first person who got a shot. It's exciting and it feels monumental, but my job is to think about how I support the next person and the next person and the next person. The massive impact of Black Panther is not something Eve takes lightly. He is one of the most important, if not the most important, you know, black pop culture icon of my generation um, in terms of fictional characters, right? That's pretty cool. And with much anticipation, Eve reveals Black Panther's newest look exclusively to us. I am so excited for people to see this character design. T'Challa is going to be looking really different. It's much more edgy and kind of homespun. It's not so sleek and slick, not giving too much away from the story. He's trying not to be seen. He is kind of working incognito. As for Wakanda's future? I'm dancing the spoiler dance. What I can say, honestly, is that we will be seeing Wakanda in a way that we have not seen it ever before. Eve even giving us an exclusive first look at June's cover designed by cover artist Torin Clark. Working with an artist is, it's just the professional version of the game you play on the bus when you're 14 or 15 of like, hey, what would happen if this hero did this? And what if they went here? And if this fight happened, you know, how would it turn out? I just get paid to do that with other nerds. <laughs> it's pretty fun. And for Eve Ewing superpower? If I had to superpowers I wouldn't tell you so you don't know we'd call it storytelling I'm proud to tell stories that you know you buy for a few bucks every month on you know not super high quality paper that's literally stapled together with staples you know like that is that's a accessible and fun form of storytelling that people all over the world can take part in and there it is, Eve's first Black Panther comic book cover. We want to thank Chicago's Graham Crackers Comics for hosting us. It looks great. Congratulations. Cool?